I'm now absolutely delighted to be joined by uh, Chin Chung Zeng, who's going to be giving the public lecture later on this week. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. I'm sure you're a busy man. So, so your work is the use of uh, mathematics to uh, predict and mitigate natural disasters. Right. Uh, but uh, I make the remote sensing by uh, meteorology satellite and also by the new measure that I think so. But only this is true. But what's the role of mathematics? Most of us think it's the weatherman on the television who predicts weather. Why is it a mathematician who does that? Uh, you know, the weather is very complicated. Okay? It's especially the weather uh, it makes the disasters. Right. You know. But, you know, the mathematical pro equations for the numerical, for the prediction of weather is very, very complicated. Right. Without the supercomputers, uh, the people cannot do that. What's the role of uh, supercomputers? I think it's uh, uh, wonderful. Yeah. For example, when I was a student in Moscow, uh, 60, almost 60 years ago, the computer, the memory, is only 2,048 units. Okay, so I can uh, write my, run my model uh, of a primitive equation for uh, calculate for one hour and give the prediction only for the European territory of the of the U the uh, SSR, right. okay? Uh, but now, I think the uh, memory of the computer, I would say, is uh, infinitive. So we can treat the big data. <coughs> Give me an example, maybe, of, uh, of a weather pattern that, that uh, you have predicted. In the past, uh, it, is, it was impossible to make the global prediction. And also, the memory, as I already tell you, uh, was very, very limited, but now we, we, we can treat uh, the big data so we can do everything, I think. Yeah. Well, my final question is, what does the future hold? How will mathematical modelling evolve in the future to help you predict weather patterns? I think the, we will make more precise prediction of weather, and even for the global, um, yeah, uh, globally, of, uh, for seven to ten days in other words. Right. Because now the European Centre for Middle uh, Weather Prediction already achieved. Okay? And I think this uh, can be extended to every centre in the, in the world. This is first. And the second, we can also make a numerically prediction of the the uh, disaster situation, for, for example, the flooding, I, I say this is numerically, that means that they, uh, quantitatively, not qualitatively. Uh, we can make the prediction of disaster situation, not only qualitatively, but in the future we can uh, do the uh, qualitatively, the second. I even think the prediction of a, of uh, FK is also will be also possible, you know, maybe uh, 50 years uh, later. Yeah. Well, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. We very much appreciate it, and we look forward to your lecture. Thank you very much. Thank you.